So today I'm talking about a P0733 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0733 code? Well, it's a gear three incorrect ratio. And what does this mean? Well, basically the transmission is going to have an input speed sensor that's monitoring the input shaft as it spins. And then it's going to have an output speed sensor that's monitoring the output shaft as it spins. And for some reason, these sensors are reporting to the computer that there's some kind of problem going on here when the vehicle's in third gear, that the difference at the output speed shaft is wrong compared to what the input shaft is spinning at. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0733 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low fluid. If the transmission fluid's low, then that's going to cause problems. And so if you can't go check your transmission fluid, it's a good idea to go and check it and be sure that it's not low. Some vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid, so there won't be no dipstick. But if you can go check the transmission fluid, be sure that it's not low or anything like this. Dirty transmission fluid can also affect the transmission and the way it's working. So if you can't go check the fluid, check to see if that fluid looks really dirty or murky or anything like this, because dirty transmission fluid will affect the transmission. There's also a filter located inside the transmission, and if it becomes clogged up, then that fluid's not going to be able to flow correctly, and that also is going to cause problems. So if that transmission fluid looks really dirty, then it may be a good idea to go have that fluid replaced, especially if the vehicle is past its maintenance for when that transmission is supposed to have the fluid and that filter replaced. But the first thing that's going to cause this is low transmission fluid, dirty transmission fluid, or a clogged up filter inside the transmission. The next thing that could cause this is a bad input speed sensor or a bad output speed sensor. If one of these sensors go bad, it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Usually when one of these sensors go bad, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you're also getting another code like a P0722 output speed sensor circuit, then there might be some kind of issue going on with that speed sensor. And it's a good idea to go do some tests on it and be sure it's working correctly and things like this. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad transmission speed sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of internal transmission failure going on. And this is going to be something like a bad pump, a bad planetary gear, there's a bad shift solenoid, something like that. So for example, if there's some kind of problem with the shift solenoid C or that third shift solenoid, then the transmission is not going to be able to shift in third gear correctly. And that's going to cause problems. Again, usually if something like this happens, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you're also getting like a P0796 code, pressure control solenoid C, performance or stuck off, then that would point to a bad shift solenoid C or that third gear shift solenoid. And so that would be something to go and check out. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of transmission failure. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. There might be some kind of issue going on with the computer. And this is going to be like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module or something like that. It is fairly rare for some kind of issue to be going on with the computer. Usually it's going to be something else, but they do go bad sometimes. One thing to do if you do think you have a bad computer is be sure that the power supply is good because all these control modules, they all need a good stable power supply or that can throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. So be sure the battery is good. Be sure the alternator is charging correctly. All these computer modules also need a good ground wire going to them. So you can check them and be sure that they're grounded good because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0733 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.